Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is a soft spoken makeup tutorial. So whether you just want to relax and kick back and get some ASMR and enjoy the relaxing music, or you want to actually get some makeup tips, welcome to this video and welcome to my channel. I do a lot of pick a card readings on my channel, but I've been branching out recently doing more makeup tutorials and um, more videos that my followers have been requesting. So thank you to all of you guys who have been requesting makeup tutorials because I've absolutely been loving to do them. And so I had the subscriber wanting to do this makeup tutorial from a look that I posted recently on a pick a card reading. And in that photo, I actually have on really heavy eyeliner and I have on lips. Um, and I actually specifically remember taking that picture. I actually, it's a picture from a while ago, back when I was in California. And um, I had actually just gone on a huge makeup haul. And so I was like trying out all my new products. So I ended up putting like all the makeup on. Um, and I also want to say I put on a lot of makeup when I am doing my um, videos a lot of times because you have to put more makeup on for the camera. So this is going to be a lot of makeup. I already kind of have a base on my face, which I'm quickly going to go over, but we'll be focusing mainly on the eyes and the lips in this tutorial. So for my base, I start with a clean face. I wash my face. I love the Glossier face wash. I'm going to put all of the products links to them in the bio and um, so I started with that and then I like to moisturize with hang on <laughs> right now I'm actually using this it's like a product I'm in India right now so it's an Indian product and it's called Himalaya Herbals anti wrinkle cream and it's actually a really great primer it has aloe vera and grapes in it and it's just really, ugh, I love it. It moisturizes your face so good. Has anybody else tried this product? I'm loving it. I'm gonna probably buy another one and take it back with me when I go back to California. Um, and then I, after I kind of let that sit in for like 15 minutes, then I spray this on my face. It's um, ColourPop's Crystal Priming Spray. So it's an amethyst. They still have this available on their site and you just spray it all over your face and kind of fan it and like wait for it to dry. Um, and then after that, I actually put on more primer. I put on the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. It has SPF 15 in it. So I love this product. It's really smooth and lightweight on the face and I really wish I bought the bigger one. <laughs> um, after that, I went straight in with my eyes and I put on this e.l.f. product. It's actually an eyeshadow, so you can see. It's like this eyeshadow and I like went in on my eyes like this. And then I used my finger and I like blended it in. It got a little bit messy. Um, I let it dry and then I put on another layer, blotted it in again. And um, there were some areas I kind of had to like clean up um, and I wanted to make sure I concentrated a lot of it right here on this corner so it would, it would really make my eyes pop. So I did that and this is e.l.f. in Blushing Rose. In Blushing Rose and it's just like an eye shadow. Like a, it's like a liquid to powder. So it, it dries matte, which is what I like about it. <clears throat> I have like hooded eyes, so I don't want to put too much um, like shimmer on. So I want to keep my products matte. Next, um, I went in with this another e.l.f. palette and it's actually their golden bronzer palette. And I took this color right here on a little brush and I just put it like around here, as you can see, like by my eyebrow and just a tiny bit near the inner corners of my eyes. Um, after that, I went in with my Anastasia Brow Definer Pen in medium brown. And what's so great about this is it comes with, you know, a little spool so you can actually brush your eyebrows out. And so I started like this and then I filled them in I even missed some spots. I'm not really happy with my eyebrows right now because I haven't had them done in a while. 
So I am just kind of smoothing them out right now. I don't want them too dark. And then I actually skipped this step before, but I am gonna set my brows with the Glossier, Glossier Boy Brow in brown. So the Glossier Boy Brow in brown. I'm going to set my eyebrows with that just a little bit to kind of define it. So then after I like had my eyes kind of done, I let them dry a little bit and I took my um, Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills, which I'm really loving this brand by the way, their foundation stick in beige. And I use this as a concealer and a foundation stick. Actually sad story, I'm in India right now and I ran out of concealer. So I'm gonna pick some more up in a little bit when I'm at the airport actually on my way out and for now it's been great because this has been kind of working as a concealer for me. I do wish that it was a little bit lighter under here um, and I have a whole process for covering bags and dark circles. I'll do that in another video but I'm just gonna it's just like I want it just to be kind of more natural and let my skin show through so I did put a little bit underneath here like this and then I put a little bit all over my face. I'm not gonna do it because I already did it, but I did put, you know, here, a little bit under the nose. I just kind of went in and touched up. It's up to you. If you want to really put a whole bunch on and put a whole layer of foundation on your face, that's fine. But um, with this look, I actually barely did any contouring and I left my skin really bare because I was gonna do a heavy lip and a heavy eye. And um, my eyebrows are kind of medium heavy, so my skin, I wanted it to look more natural, so I didn't like have a super cakey face. So blotting that in with the Beauty Blender. Is this chilling you guys out with the music? <laughs> How do you guys like my new theme song? This, this music you guys hear in the background is my new Rainbow Harmony theme song. I love it. I'm gonna, you're gonna be hearing it like so much more often. So, you know, just kind of blotting this in. <laughs> there we go. And then after I did that, um, and on like the whole face, I actually went in with my Glossier um, Cloud Paint in Puff. So it's, the Glossier Cloud Paint in Puff, the color right here, Puff. And I just took the tiniest bit, and I'm barely gonna put any on right now because I already have some on. And I just kind of, you know, blotted it into my cheek a little bit like this. Same thing on the other side. There we go. sleeve keeps falling down because I'm wearing my dress like it's like a backless dress <laughs> okay just like that and um, after that I think that's it it's pretty much as far as I got um, and so let's go ahead and start from there and so I'm probably gonna come back and add a little bit more concealer and powder it down, but we're actually gonna start with some eyeliner. We're just gonna get this look poppin'. So I'm taking this Maybelline Colossal. I got this here in India. <laughs> um, it's an eyeliner. And then I'm taking this little brush, and it's an e.l.f. brush. It's a small precision brush by e.l.f. And I'm going to take this straight onto my eye in the corner, like this, and on the waterline. Got contacts, so I kind of have to like, sometimes. <laughs> Anybody else out there have contacts? The 
this isn't a look I do every day because like you're putting a bunch of makeup like up in your eyes and um, I do prefer natural makeup um, natural eyeliner like from brands like uh, Eco Bella or 100% Pure would be my favorite for all natural products definitely give your eyes a rest um, I don't wear makeup most days just for things that are special for pictures and camera I'll put it on going in with this brush and just kind of smoothing it out a little bit so as you can see that already really defined my eyes and with just a little bit of mascara you could just take this look and go but we are going to do something a little bit more dramatic so going to come right here and draw more on the top You want to kind of stop right above the iris in the middle of the eye and then bring it back in. Color a little heavier right here. Going back in with my precision brush, smoothing over that line. to a mirror. <laughs> wow, it's really popping now. You could even just do that. But what I like to do now is to draw a little bit higher, like that, and then take a little bit down here. Now that looks kind of bad, but with the precision brush, we're just going to work on that line a little bit. It's looking much better. I think I'm gonna actually wing it out even more to be more dramatic. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't just splash you guys. <laughs> And now I'm just going to kind of smudge the line a little bit to kind of smoke it out. And if you do get a little bit smudged like that, I'm just taking this e.l.f. glow pen, Sculpt and Glow, kind of almost using it like a concealer, just kind of going over it a little bit. winging it out more. It was a really dramatic look. There we go, okay. I'm liking that look. <laughs> so you guys can see the difference. I mean, it's making the eyes look bigger and wider and um, 
It's kind of got this like glamorous look. And it's like a smoked out liner. It's been really blended. I do like the look, the same look with like a liquid eyeliner that's like really sharp and very 50s looking. But this look is a little bit more like grunge, a little bit more evening look or like on, it looks great on camera. Surprisingly on camera, it looks a little bit more natural. I do like doing the same look, but like thinner, keeping the eyeliner down here on the inner part of the eye and then just a soft wing. This is a thicker kind of look. I'm not overdoing it though. I still want a little bit of my eyelid to show because I have hooded eyes. So this is probably as extreme and as thick as I would draw my eyeliner for hooded, hooded eyes. And after I might even want to go in and add a little bit of shimmer right here to kind of make this pop. Um, you never want to like draw too thick of eyeliner when you have hooded eyes. If you have a huge eyelid and you don't have hooded eyes, then you can draw as thick of a line as you want. So here we go, the other side, same thing. Now it's just about kind of getting it symmetrical. Once again, going in with my precision brush. I put a big dot and kind of smudged it in the corner and now I'm going to smudge it out with a smudge brush. And to make sure I'm doing this precisely, I should take this to the mirror. checking in my mirror. Yeah, it's symmetrical. A little bit thicker on this side and a little bit longer too. So, it's a process and you have to go really slow when it comes to like a lot of makeup and thick eyeliner, but I am liking that. Sometimes I do like to draw the line straighter. Sometimes I like to go up, but I don't want to go down. That's what's important. So, this one ended up a little bit too curved. And so I'm gonna see if I can find a way to kind of pull it out more. Even it out with the other side. That's better. For my hooded eyes and um, eye shape, it seems to be better to pull the eyeliner more to the side than up as high, if that makes sense. And I'm going to go in with my beauty blender right here on the sides. So not even done yet, <laughs> just going to kind of get situated here, but what do you guys think so far? The eyeliner is looking really pretty. So next we're gonna go in with my e.l.f. highlighting stick in Pink Quartz, and we're gonna bring it to the waterline, just a little bit. There we go. Making the eyes pop already. 
And then I'm going in with my precision brush from e.l.f. again and the same eyeliner I was using from Maybelline and just going a little bit on the brush and then taking it here to just define just a little bit the lower lash line. looking really pretty. Might just dab a little bit underneath my eyes. So um, next we're going to be doing mascara. So I'm using the e.l.f. product again and this is the e.l.f. eyelash curler. Just going to curl my eyelashes. It's kind of hard to do on camera. <laughs> so I'm going to try it other side. Wonderful. You can see they're like nice and curled now. So next I'm going in with my L'Oreal Paris um, Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. It's in, yeah, Carbon Black. Wiping off the excess. There's so much that comes out. Just wiping all of it off the brush first. And then going in with just a little bit. Put a bunch on the edge over here. Other side. Hold it here. Put a bunch on the edge. There we go. Tiny bit underneath. And funny enough, from like far away, they look pretty natural. That's why on camera it looks great. Um, and you get closer, you can see, yeah, there's a lot of makeup here. Closing my eyes, it looks really pretty. Um, I think it is kind of missing a little bit of eyeshadow, but I don't want to smear my makeup on my eyes, so I'm going to wait to put that in. Um, next, actually, I'm going to go in with a lip. And so I'm using, in the look, this was what really made the look. I drew my lips like crazy in that look. And so I'm going to try to um, redo that. That was when I first started overdrawing my lips actually. And so I went to town. Um, now I just like to keep my lips really natural, but I will overdraw them and show you guys what I did um, in the <laughs> picture. I don't know if I would do that again. Um, so this is the NYX actually and it's their cream lipstick and it's in number four, um, LSCL number four. Um, does it say what the name is? Oh, it's called Soft Spoken. So Soft Spoken. And this is supposed to be a Soft Spoken and, um, makeup tutorial. Hopefully I'm doing a good job at that. I'm usually much louder than this. So this is soft spoken for me. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with a lip brush, um, straight in, just a lip brush, and just start dialing it in. my time and this formula stays so long and it's so thick so I don't like to go straight out of the tube with it lately I've been liking to fill my lips in just a little bit first before I do the lip liner I used, I used to do it the other way, where I just put lip liner and then the lip stuff. But I like to kind of build it up. Okay. 
So next I'm, I don't know where I got this lip liner. It's so awesome. <laughs> I bought it at like some random pharmacy shop. I don't even know what country I got it in. Um, it's called, it's so lame, but it's called Jessie's Girl and it's lip liner in Naked. And it is like my favorite lip liner. I've tried so many products like ColourPop and Chanel and, and just, you know, MAC and, um, I'm a fan of all their lip liners, but this random Jessie's Girl lip liner in Naked is just legit. So I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna start over drawing the crap out of my lips because that's what I did in that look that, you, that this person was interested in. So smiling big, little strokes. are overdrawing the lips, making them crazy big. And what I did, I have bow shaped lips, but what I did in this picture is I actually drew it in a lot right here to make it look like my lips were like not as bow shaped. So I'm gonna find a darker liner. Whoops. I'm looking for this ColourPop shade I have that is just amazing. Okay, this is ColourPop in BFF2. Okay, ColourPop Lippy Pencil, Lippy Sticks, and BFF2. Going right here. Draw a lot. back in with the Jessie's girl <laughs> and I'm not gonna draw my lower lip in as big contouring a little bit okay now we go back in with the NYX um, the cream lipstick in soft spoken reminding me to speak softly <laughs> This time we're liberally filling it in. And it has a matte finish. And um, then I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of go around it with this, um, sorry, <laughs> hair getting stuck to the lips, with my beige stick foundation from Anastasia. I'm 
bring it around the sides. Uh, I got a little bit on my lip, that happens. I want to bring some in, like right here, actually. Gonna go back in with Jessie's girl. Being <laughs> naked. going slow, taking my time. I can usually do this look a lot faster, but I'm just, you know, for the sake of perfection, for the sake of the channel, taking it really slow. For the sake of any of you guys who are like falling asleep to this. <laughs> um, next, I'm actually going to take my RMS um, Beauty Unpowder, which is just so amazing. It's the best setting powder ever. Um, and it's natural. And I'm going to take my e.l.f. powder brush and just tapping a little bit into the lid, swirling this around, tap off the excess, bringing a little bit underneath my eyes, on my temples. go too crazy with the highlighter because it's just more about the lips and the eyes with this look but I am gonna take my RMS living luminizer which I absolutely love take just a little bit down my nose up on my cheeks a little bit right here a little on the chin in the corners of the eyes If you want to contour, you can contour. I didn't contour at all. So um, I might just do a little bit of something taking this e.l.f. palette in golden and this e.l.f. face brush, swirling this around the whole palette. Just adding a little bit here, maybe some to my forehead. Defining my jaw a little bit. Maybe a little bit in my, a little bit on the nose. And um, yeah, just for some reason today feeling like skipping the, <laughs> the bronzer. But now I can show you guys the full look. All right, so this is the big reveal, the moment you've all been waiting for. Just get up. I've been chilling and sitting on my bed this whole time. So yeah, here is the full look get up so you guys can see in the right light. It looks amazing. It's like big lips. Look at that mess I made with my makeup. <laughs> it's like big lips, big eyes. When you blink, it's like, ah. Looks pretty in the light. Just a little bit of highlighter catches the light. Looks really pretty. I'm happy with it. Even in like backlight or like the worst light, it's not too bad. You guys know I like to check my makeup in like all different types of light. Side light isn't too bad. <laughs> so yeah, that is the makeup look I was wearing in that video. So I hope that you enjoy and that you guys try this out and if you do let me know you can honestly use any eyeliner any lipstick that you want just go for like a matte shade that's kind of darker and when I close my lips and in pictures it really gives like the cutest like smile yeah and there's like a million different ways to overdraw your lips and to line your eyes and so we're gonna be playing around with some of that and some more on the channel so Yay, hope you guys enjoy this and the relaxing music and this tutorial and I will be seeing you guys really soon. Peace out.